Rabka is a uh, robotic platform for clinical applications. And the first application that we have is uh, Arthur, which is an arthritis scanning robot. Arthur utilizes the soft scanning mode and the interaction between the robot and the ultrasound machines to create high quality ultrasound images of the joints of arthritis patients. Robka was created in uh, 2019, which uh, purpose was to create a CMARC product, and Arthur is exactly that. It takes a lot of time to train a specialist to do these musculoskeletal ultrasound scans. So the main advantage for the patient is that they can get the scan. The robot can just keep learning and will have a very reliant part of the staff to perform high-level diagnostic ultrasound on our patients. The bottleneck right now is actually the human power that is needed. Før Arthur blev opfundet, der var det jo røntgenbilleder og almindelig scanning, som der tog lang tid at diagnostisere udefra. Nu har de så fået den maskine her, den kan diagnostisere meget hurtigere, og dermed kan man hurtigere komme i behandling også. When we were developing Robka, we started developing it using the local robots here. We realized that if we wanted to take it all the way to the market, we needed a robot that had the right papers and the right functionalities, which could lower the barrier for us to enter the market. KUKA had all this combined in one product, which is the LBR Med. We decided to go with the LBR Med for the final product. What makes the KUKA LBR Med special and unique in this field is that it has all the right certificates. So you don't need to deal with getting the robot certified. You can concentrate on getting your product certified. The LBR Med comes with a force control. It can do soft landing. All the safety algorithms are put into the controller itself. It has a seven degree of freedom robotic arm. That's an advantage when you have close interaction with patients. You don't want the robot to make a lot of transition movements. So all in all, the KUKA LBR Med is a very good choice when you want to create uh, medical products. We had a lot of technical sessions with the engineers from KUKA who helped us fine tune the robot to our purpose. That was a very um, good process for us because that meant that we did not have to invent the wheel again but the KUKA technicians could uh, help us along in our development. The process of being scanned by Arthur, the full automatic scanning robot, is the following. The patients identify themselves with the unique ID. First, they are asked to remove jewelry. They are told how to apply ultrasound gel on the joints, and they are asked to place their hand on the touchscreen of Arthur. Our camera system automatically identifies the joints in their hand. These positions are sent to the robot and the robot moves above the position, lands softly on the joint and then searches for the right plane in the ultrasound image to take the ultrasound pictures. They are transferred to our AI and estimates a disease activity in each single joint. We did a study to look at interaction between the patient and the robot, and some patients actually preferred being scanned by the robot. Most of the patients felt it quite intuitive to interact. Roboten det er jo et værktøj som så mange andre, og det virker rigtig fint, og det er let at gå til. Der er ingen grund til at være bange for at bruge den. Den går ikke nogen nå. So the potential for Arthur is, of course, it's a global product. We definitely have a dream of exporting to the entire world. But Robka as such is also a robotic platform. So we have other applications in mind as well. So the next step is to develop an application for, for scanning another body part. Industrial intelligence.